Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another video with GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair. This morning I'm working on a 99 Ranger. It is extended cab, 6 cylinder, 3.0, automatic, two wheel drive. And customer complained that we have an issue with the door, with the window, okay? So he doesn't know what is the issue right now. Let me show what, what it's doing right now. So you guys can see ignition is on and when you it goes down fine and sometimes kind of balances back and forth here when it goes up watch see so definitely we got something loose here or it's uh the window motor that is weak anyhow we're gonna remove door panel door cover whatever you call it we're gonna find the evidence we're gonna fix it now before I continue if you are already a subscriber and when you're watching this video came back to the channel welcome back thank you so much for uh, supporting us supporting the channel and uh, that motivated me that to, to keep uh, making videos and taking the time thank you so much you have no idea how much I appreciate it please you know leave your comments below like the video share it uh, and if you are a new person checking out the channel, welcome to the channel. I uh, hope you find value in any in this video or any other of our videos. And hopefully we can help you to save money and fix your vehicle right the first time. Alright, so without further ado, let's get to the repair. Uh, okay, what we're going to need is going to need a... Uh, our Phillips head, screwdriver. We're going to remove. Okay, one, two. I believe for now. Maybe three. Okay, let's let's get to it. One. Two, and we gotta lift this. Look like somebody already was here because this is not plugged all the way in. So, remove the camera. What's this? Here we have another screw. This one is a short. It's all up. I mean, out. We're gonna lift and this thing comes off. Again, this is a sign that somebody was here already. All this has been removed previously. Other way it will be attached right there. So let's find out what we're doing. Okay, so right here we know that we have an issue. Reconnect. 
this again. motor let's see uh, if we can get it by itself or sometimes it's more affordable or cheap just to get the whole regulator with the with the motor all right so all right guys so I got a new window regulator with the motor okay so we are going to remove this and replace it so now, what I'm gonna do, what I'm doing right now, already raise the window all the way up, okay? And I will explain why in a minute. Okay, the way this work, this arm right here, this bushing, this guy, whatever you want to call it, have to go right through the middle of the rail on the window. You know what, let me see if I can show you guys can understand the logic behind so it goes there the arm goes there so that bushing that I just showed here has to go right here now however this is on the way I can remove it yes it's one bolt here and one bolt here on the bottom I can't yeah but it's still this it's not going to come out as easy Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift this window all the way up. So, it's up. I'm gonna disconnect this. Remove one, two, three, and four bolts on that. And that's true. The, all the regulator, I'm gonna push it in, and I'm gonna slide it this way. And it should be able to get it out. But again, we're gonna find out pretty soon, okay? Again, as you can see in this video, I don't have all the answers. That's, that's how a person, you know, you can get to the answer, but sometimes it takes a little bit more work. By the way, when you put your hand here and lift it, if you have to do that, just be careful with your hand. You don't wanna Magic finger. Electric motor is disconnected. Oh. Ten millimeter. Okay, it's a bolt, so we need to hold it from the outside. Ten millimeter wrench. Reach here. Get it.
ignition switch. This is disconnected. So now you can see, I hope you can see, that this now, sorry, that bolt is over. So now, the regulator starts free. Hopefully you guys can see. Okay. So, lift this. same position than this. So let's see if it this way is easy to reinstall it. Hope it is. I was you just saw instead of going from here I went from the back so in case that was hard to see on the video now the main goal here is going to be to line up this that into that right all right so that's what I'm trying to do a lot easier than I thought okay so is it later on I'm gonna add some grease here so that with this plastic bushing it can just slide nice and smooth and has less load for the electric motor next line up, up all the other stuff Here my goal is going to be reaching 
do next, I'm gonna plug it, lift it so I can have room to put the other bolts. Got it. So it takes a little bit of patience. You can use a magnet, but I really didn't want to go look for the magnet. So there you have it. 
hold it. Now we got four bolts. I'm gonna raise the window all the way up. So when it's all the way in the up position, then I'm gonna tighten everything and put everything back. That's it. Now it stays in place. Now with the pressure of the window. Still gotta use the wrench. Something just make you work for it. So I hope this helped somebody to replace the window regulator and the motor. And uh, like the video, comment, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it. I appreciate uh, you sticking with us, with me here in this video. Have a great day. Do your best. Forget the rest. And God bless you. Later.